All right, hello everybody out there in TV land, computer land, video land, whatever you want to call it, the World Wide Web. This is my O3 Intrepid. I'm going to be putting these little bad boys in. I got these off of uh, eBay, uh, the EFX, 5 volt purple, uh, four piece kit. Uh, come with the resistor already built inside, everything, uh, pretty nice little clean, little set up there. I have images of the uh, packaging and everything, so I'll put those up later. But let's get to the beefy stuff because I like everything nice and clean I uh, decided to damn near tear the inside of my car apart to uh, mount everything all nice and clean and hidden away so that uh, you know nobody's uh, gonna get wise and you know the cops aren't gonna try and get me for anything because I'm not too sure exactly what the laws up here so uh, but because uh, I'm running these I got four LEDs and I'm running them all in parallel um, they're five volt lights each and if I understand the method correctly, um, I will draw less power using a straight uh, 12 volt setup rather than 5 by 5 by 5 by 5 using 20 volts, uh, you know, 5 for each light whenever you're running them in a series. If I run them parallel, I only need 12 volts and just, you know, ground each light out and just run them all in a big, uh, big parallel circuit. So I went ahead and mounted the switch yesterday. That's how that looks. Run the wires down inside the console. So you got everything all nice and clean there. Nice and uh, compressed, uh, loop connectors onto the switch so nothing's loose or anything like that. Everything's all nice and tight. You know, make sure everything's all nice and solid there so you don't want to go back in there later on and, you know, mess everything up. So I run them all straight down inside. It was quite the uh, process to get the console apart. That's why I've already had it all apart here and everything like that. Each car is going to be different, so, you know, just figure out what you need for tools and all that kind of jazz. You're just going to need your basic stuff, you know, like your uh, soldering, shrink tube. Uh, I used a drill to mount the LEDs way down inside my uh, console here, down the bottom. I was going to put them over in the uh, B pillar down at the bottom there, but I figured I'd use a lot less wire being closer to the switch and, you know, all that kind of jazz rather than have one big giant wire running all around the interior car. I just figured put them there, get the same effect. You know, it looks pretty badass. And uh, because these uh, lights... Uh, I've already taken the uh, pleasure of uh, mounting my self-adhesive pads on there. They come with uh, two-sided foam tape. So whenever you pick your desired spot, you can just drill your little hole. I believe I used a 3 16 drill bit. Uh, hogged it out just a tiny bit because I just want, I want them nice and snug and everything. I don't want them to lose, uh, uh, be loose or anything like that. If I was putting these, putting these outside, I would uh, silicone around here make sure everything's all nice and watertight but i'm not really too concerned about that and uh, if people are drinking in my car they can take a bus so that's pretty much that everything's all nice and clean i've already been uh, pre-testing everything i uh, have some images that i'm going to be putting up uh, after of the uh, light uh, actually being on um actually you just want to let's see what we can do here i got a little nine volt battery because these are five volt lights you can use a nine volt battery and uh, everything will everything will just uh, light up like Christmas here give everything a nice little pre-test you know make sure everything's gonna work so there you go your nine volt battery is connected on there you know there we go it works you know nice purple cool color we'll see what happens nighttime you can uh, be able to adjust them a little bit you know if you really desire I'm doing this during the daytime. It's super nice out today and super cold inside my buddy's shop. So I don't have a garage or anything. So I'm just doing it like this, doing it ghetto style. So that's that. Um, these are going to uh, wind up running this. Uh, these two wires are going to get grounded probably somewhere along the uh, console uh, restraints down inside there or something. I see a nice little bolt back there I can uh, connect it to. I'm not going to be all ghetto and uh, run wires all across, you know, to the seat everything like that I, like I said before I like it all nice and clean and hidden and you know none's the wiser you know so yeah that's all that's gonna go <clears throat> these two, these uh, this reds not even gonna bother being connected to this one I'm gonna be uh, using a uh, circular wire going all the way around run them all in parallel and then the last thing I'll do is uh, wire up my switch uh, I'm gonna be putting another single LED up underneath the dash here we'll see how that goes We'll put another one up underneath the dash here on the passenger side see how that goes um, 
The reason I'm doing this is I saw a lot of videos out there that uh, were using multi-pod setups and all kinds of crazy contraptions and some guys were actually really sloppy with their work and stuff like that. So I'm not the greatest hawker and all that kind of jazz. I can kind of rattle my head off, but uh, this is what it's going to be. I didn't see one that was exactly for my purpose. Single LEDs in a parallel series. Everybody talks about parallels and the theory and the premises and you know all that kind of technical crap, but I really don't care about that. I just want to see somebody you know, laying out some single LEDs and not a freaking bar. So, and this is it. This is what I'm doing. Hope you enjoy. I'll be back with more. Here we are, part two. My uh, LED install. Left off with uh, testing the lights after I mounted them. I have them all wired together now. So here's the battery wire. Coming from the battery, obviously. And this goes to the on position of my two pole switch. The off position wire is going to get connected to the positives of your LEDs. I've gone ahead and soldered everything up. My connections, my grounds are all soldered up, all nice and tight there. My grounds and my positives all run up to the front to connect with my forward LEDs. There's my grounds and my ground is connected via a little bolt I have down there for my transmission. Shifting uh, assembly. I managed to ground it out inside there. Make sure you get a good solid ground. You never stress enough, you gotta have a good ground. 90% of the problems now are always related back to the ground. And then there's my two powers. And get them, uh, get them out here, there we go. There's my two powers for my forward LEDs. Soldered into the same line that goes to the back. I'd taken a liberty of uh, running the uh, battery gauge that I have uh, installed to uh, run that power into this as well. Not creating a lot of load on this line. So there's the inside done. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Ground, wire, and that's it. You see it ends right there. Everything's all tied together. Soldered up nice and tight. Let's go out under the hood. There's that. That's my ground. And the inside again. We'll finish it off by going outside. So the wire comes from inside the passenger compartment and comes out a throttle cable grommet that I had managed to find. Obviously I have a few other things inside the car because I ran the wires along the back here. I already had uh, some things set up previously. So I just have everything all running together. All along there, runs all along and then connects to a 3 amp fuse. Once again, not a lot of load on this line. so that's going to be fine there, going straight to my battery. Now, what you have to understand is that because it's not switched power, it's direct battery power, you have to remember not to leave your lights on. Otherwise, you're going to come out in the morning and find a dead battery, and that's not very cool. Pull it all up and inside there. Back inside the car. So your wire comes in. On. There's your off. All right. You're on on the, on the top, you're off on the bottom. You flip that switch on, it allows power to flow, flow from the battery to your lights via get little gateway they got there. And then it's daytime. It's daytime, so it might be a little hard to see, but there's some, uh, there's some power there. All four are connected. One up there, another wire up there. I might have to do a little bit of clean up here to finish this off. But that's pretty much it. Power in, power out to the lights, make sure everything's grounded, and uh, remember to turn your light off. So that's pretty much it for today. Hope everybody enjoys the video. Uh, part three, I'm gonna probably take a little night drive and show how it looks at night. Get a good idea and uh, show, show everybody on uh, what exactly I'm talking about because you only want so much light. You don't want to blind yourself out. You know, you, you still want to be able to look out the windows and stuff. So, until next time, have a good night.